Hi, it's Jess. I'm excited to share with you some beautiful autumn inspired designs. And I am designing for Spend the Holidays with Swarovski. It's a promotion that's going to run October through December. And we're kicking off with fall, which is my absolute favorite time to design jewelry with our products. Our beautiful natural brass and copper pieces just work really great for the season. And we have many pieces in our Enchanted collection, which these are from, um, that work great for fall as well. Leaves and different types of things like that. So, I don't know about you, but I am not a fan of spiders whatsoever. However, this came to mind when I was putting together beads for this theme. And I wanted something, you know, fall and Halloween inspired um, to go with the crystals. And I have this gorgeous amethyst foil back 12 millimeter Rivoli and instantly I was pairing other beads and I had these copper daggers and these bugle beads and I saw a spider. So um, with our perennial laurel, this is a 22 millimeter piece, I instantly thought of a web. So this is how this creation came about and this is called Crystal Web and this is a necklace kit available right now and I'm just going to show you quickly how to wire um, our duct filigree to this piece and wrap the Rivoli and then create his fun little legs. So what I did to get started is I used our natural brass 24 gauge pair wire. Our wire is amazing to work with. So I'm just gonna clip off a section here and with the dapped filigree from the inside, <laughs> So string it from the inside um, of the depth piece because you want to wire this to um, this section. So now you can see this opening. Oops. We're going to go ahead and string both ends of the wire through that. So then your depth filigree is sitting up in this area. So not only are you hiding that opening that does not have a flower on it, you're also um, making a creative setting for your filigree or for your crystal to rest in the filigree. So that's in like that. And then with the wire ends, you could just take them and bend them through opening here on the back and you're just going to wire wrap continue wire wrapping around the stem of this flower here clip off any extra wire and you can wrap this um, even more than I did if you want to wire all the way up that stem that would look really pretty you can do that I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here so I could show you these other techniques okay so that's secure so now what we're gonna do and then you could push the wire down a little bit in the middle there so your um, crystal lays flat so only two of the tabs on this filigree are going to bend over. I'm just going to bring two of those up a little bit. You want the ones on the sides. Be sure. Okay, so this circle here at the top, that opening, that loop, is going to, um, your jump ring to your chain is going to work right there. So you want the legs on the sides. So make sure your two side tabs stay open and you're going to only wrap the top and the bottom, the one next to that loop. So keep that in mind when you're securing this to um, the base. So I'm setting the Rivoli and I'm just going to hold it in place with my thumb here and gently bend the one side down and just make sure your crystal's pretty centered and placed inside and then grab it, grab it from here and gently bend that side down and go back and just make sure that this is secure as well. Okay, so now 
going to take these two tabs and bend them outward because we want her legs to rest from there. Okay, so we have our spider's body. Next step is creating the legs. So I cut three inches sections of wire and I've made two previously, just let's see. And we're gonna use a matte copper dagger. And starting with that, I'm going to string this on the end of the wire and just use a small section to create a coil, like a wrapped loop. So we'll go ahead and turn that up um, to the top of the dagger, your wire, and then wrap this around two or three times. And then trim any little piece of wire and go ahead and tuck in any sharp edge. So now what you have is this look with the bead and the coils. And then with these really pretty deep amethyst um, silver lined bugle beads, glass bugles, we'll go ahead and slide one. two and three on to form her leg. And now we want to secure it to this open tab. So I'm bringing it through. Bending it and we are going to create a coiled wrap just like we did at the beginning. Here, above the um, that bugle. So wrap it two, three, four times, however much wire you have, or the look you want. And then go ahead and trim. Okay, so that's how that works. And you are obviously going to make four legs per side to create your beautiful crystal spider. And then from there, there are these two flowers. And what I did here is I use um, a Swarovski zillion bead in crystal copper, six millimeter on that one. And this is smoked topaz AB, I believe a five millimeter, and that's on this flower up here. And that's simply just wrapped as well by grabbing a piece of wire and bringing it through your bead and creating this type of, like where you bring it like that. And then it tucks through your flower, and then you'll just start wrapping up along the stem on the side. Feed your wire through. So this is kind of really um, free form wrapping. It does not have to be done a specific way. You could um, wire wrap it however you want to just secure the pieces. But I just go ahead and bend and bring it through a few times. And then we'd, you would do that with this opposite side as well. So once you have that all done, the back, um, to cover the back, I'll go ahead and do it on this one even though we don't have this project complete. I'll show you here. Is with um, this whimsical spray, these smaller, um, stems with the little leaves on it. We're gonna take two tips and wrap it. This whole thing doesn't fit on the back. And then you wanna leave your loop open, of course. Really, any section you could take and just bend a little bit to wrap around and secure it is just fine. So I'm going to just grip that little leaf and bring it and bend it forward around the edge of the this perennial laurel. And 
can shift it over a little bit. Some of um, like this leaf, since that's poking, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one and kind of bend it forward. And you're not gonna be able to wrap all sides because it won't completely fit completely around on all edges. You can even tuck some of it um, in different areas, but you just wanna, that's gonna look nice because what it's gonna do is create this backing. You could always um, use a filigree too to back it. How sweet is this? <laughs> a little frightening, but a little beautiful. But I hope you enjoy fall and check out my Enchanted Autumn blog post for more autumn inspired designs using Swarovski crystals and our product line from the Enchanted collection. Happy designing!